Hello everyone, this is Max Perrin again, and uh, as promised, three more games for your wonderful WoW Cube gaming system. This time I chose Bios 3 that you obviously heard about, but immersed into the cube space, they gain a completely new gameplay. Uh, moreover, those three games reveal the meaning of WoW Cube concept and uh, the way which distinguish WoW Cube from a flat screen devices. Fine, but uh, in order to fully reveal the meaning, I'll need to put the camera from a different angle. Okay, like this. So let's start from the symbiosis of a crossword puzzle and uh, Rubik's Cube game. By tilting the cube, I choose uh, the icon, shake it, loading. The idea of this game is so simple that it doesn't even make sense to explain it. Uh, you have letters on the entire surface of the cube and you need to assemble the words. Um, once you do, like sky, the word is highlighted with green, disappears and one more point adds to your squad. That's simple. But what is important that it's impossible to play this game uh, just sitting still. You always need to move your hands, shake it, twist and look from the all uh, different angles. Uh, otherwise, we'll, we'll, there will be no any words to find. Shake it, and it goes to back next to the main menu. Okay, let's go for that. My favorite game. Of course, everyone has heard about 2048. You can find its variations on every game, console or smartphone. But now, I'll show you what can be done with an already well-known game immersed into a cube. So, as on a flat screen's devices, the goal is to add the same numbers, doubling them each time. Only 11 digits. 2 plus 2 will be 4, 4 plus 4 will be 8, 8 plus 8 will be 16, etc, 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 up to 2048. But in the cube, we use what we call inertial interface. Then turning, the digit runs over that cell in which direction it spins. Like this. If there is the same number there, they add up. Each time you rotate the cube, the new digit appears in the free cell. Uh, if all of them will be busy, you will lose. But here's the difference of playing this game on a cube and other flat screen devices. On the cube, you always have to move to spin it in, within your hands very fast, looking from all the angles, all the directions. Uh, otherwise, it will take you hours to collect the 2048. I did it um, once, by the way. It took me about an hour and a half. So like this, even if it's 2048, always in the move, always thinking in three dimensions. Okay, the last but not least, the yellow ball. Uh, how else we can call it? Of course, it's just a yellow ball. It's not Pac-Man at all, it's yellow ball. So, everyone knows what is yellow ball about and how to play with it. I don't need to tell anything. But we added a little bit more fun and spatial thinking to the well-known game. In classic yellow ball, ghosts are chasing you Here's the yellow ball. But in our game, it's the same. Ghosts are chasing you. But you always can turn the cube and put the ghost to another surface. So what I call is a very good demonstration of advantages of more multidimensional creatures over the less multidimensional creatures. All right, more games will be released soon and I'll tell you about them. Stay tuned.